Yeah, tonight we're going to be sharing something very simple called personal growth. It's very important as people to grow personally. So I, for one, I'm happy. I'm Joshua Kisachi, and uh, I am the team leader and the founder of the Foundation Uganda, an NGO that supports children in Uganda, women, and we're innovating to empower the youth into the nation in Uganda. So basically, I, was, I will start by giving a few highlights of what we do in Uganda, Africa. We realized that a number of children were suffering. And um, growing up as a person, I, if, I know Stanley was like, you know, Stanley was like, you are in a fancy office and all that. <laughs> But, but, you know, growing up as a person, it has been my passion to impact lives of people, children, and communities. And um, when I grew up, I grew up from a very humble family. My dad is a pastor, and my mom, she's an evangelist. But we grew up by faith. By faith. And... We achieved everything by faith. And uh, when I was growing up, it was in my heart to impact the lives. However, when we speak about personal growth, there are things that we change our minds when we reach at a certain level. And so I realized that there are better ways that we can impact our communities more than sponsorships. And uh, when I speak about personal growth, you reach at a level of uh, changing direction at some point, and it comes to some decisions. And so tonight you shall be hearing more and you get more of my story. I believe that you will remain the same. Um, currently, the actual I'm part of uh, Rotary Club in Uganda, um, and the Kampala East. And I serve with him because I love anything that comes to serving. As I'm serving with him as the vice president in District 9213. And uh, we are trying to see how we can impact more communities and change lots of people. So I'll, I'll, I'll basically start with us understanding about personal growth. And I want to challenge everyone. I know that all of us, we are doing something currently right now. And I'll start with a simple task. Uh, I'm seeing all of us here, yes. I, I want to have a two, three people. You can unmute and uh, you can speak to us, your professional and what you're doing right now. Only two or three people, your professional, and what you're doing right now. Then it's direct, I'll go straight into our discussion tonight. I personally own a uh, some rental property. I have a mini storage warehouse, okay, yeah. where people store their extra stuff. It's like having extra garages. Uh, so I do that, but over the years, I've really made my money in dealing with lawyers, attorneys, okay, and helping them with their marketing. So, you know, lawyer marketing and helping them with their advertisement, which is really a big thing here in the United States. Uh, and so, but everything boils down to sales, really, you know, being, being a salesperson. Conrad, tell us about your profession. Uh, my name is Conrad Leonard. I own a company that is Conrad Leonard Digital Solutions. It basically deals with IT related work that is it does cabling networking website design graphics design but specifically my passion is website and graphics design okay thank you Conrad. one more person okay i'll go i'll go uh, my name is paul Rijuka uh professionally i'm an electrical technician uh, much as some of them call them engineers. I, I, I love the technician part. And uh, 
currently what I do, uh, I'm into charity NGO work where I'm the founder and CEO of Charity Gospel Missions Africa, a nonprofit organization that is uh, currently having its major uh, work and projects here in Uganda. And, uh, and by the grace of God, I work as the operations manager of a patient, uh, patient care assistancy company called Avalon Solutions Limited. So uh, basically that's where I am. Thank you very much. Ah, yes, now start right from there. You realize that most of us, well, Joshua, my professional is uh, did comprehensive nursing and midwifery. And currently I'm running a foundation in Uganda a foundation in Uganda. I realize that most of us, we are doing things when time moves, we start to move towards what is inside us. Now, many of, you, many of us, we have had dreams. And I believe many, very many, many, many youth and very many other people are doing certain things because they haven't yet discovered their purpose in life. And you discover the purpose of life, you discover your purpose in life after understanding personal growth. And that's why I normally share about personal growth because the lesson say personal growth is the act of developing as an individual because it comes from the word person, person. So it is, it goes very much deeper to you as an individual when you're growing. And so that's why it's, it's, it's developing as an individual. So many of us, we try to do things because we have not grown personally. And whatever we are doing, we do it with influence, either the influence of your friends or influence of our parents or influence of our relatives or influence of whoever is taking charge of you when you're still growing up as a child. Now, at some point, realize that personal growth comes in with who we are. Who we are. Who is Conrad? Who is Stan? Who is Eddie? It comes with who you are. And when, when you start developing and working towards who you are, they realize that you grow as a person. Now, who you are, makes you to grow personally. When you know who you are, then it will lead you to how you can grow personally. You will never grow as a person till after you realize who you are as a person. Realize that at times I tell people that professional, when we come to, that's why I, was, I began my discussion by asking, can we have a few people share to us their profession? Now, profession at some point, it is also influenced. When you come to the Ugandan setting that I'm aware about, you realize that when you finish, some of us, you grow and like, I want to be a doctor. I want to be a lawyer. Now that's what we're thinking. I want to be a teacher, I want to be, I, 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 I saw Paul sharing a few kids, they're like, I want to be a policeman, I want to be a police lady, I want, you know, that's when you're growing up. Now, when you finish primary, you, when you finish primary, you go to senior one. For those of us in Uganda, there's the level you go to, 
And uh, when you read there, they give you a couple of, 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 of uh, subjects to offer, physics, chemistry, or history, and all that. So when you be there, you're like, okay, I want to be a doctor. I want to be a lawyer. You do those four years, you finish four years, you wait for a few months. When results come back, then you wanted to be a lawyer, but where you are, they're offering you history, geography, uh, and other courses. Then you're like, okay, then I can, I can no longer be a lawyer. So you get a choice to change professional now. All that it is showing you like you have not yet came to understand who you are as a person. When you finish senior four, that's 11 Uganda, that's all over in Uganda, sorry. You get to a point about like you choose. Now you can change from being a lawyer to a teacher. Maybe from a teacher to a doctor. When the prisoners come back. When you go to A level, you will be like, I'll be a doctor. I'll be a lawyer. A level two years, you just come back. Then you are um, given government sponsorship, teacher. Then there is an influence there. Either you pay for yourself or you can go for government sponsorship and you be a teacher. That's all professional. And that's realize that when we, when we start growing, that's when we start understanding who we are. And that matters so much in personal growth. What you are or what is in you personally is much more greater than what we are trying to guess about or what we're guessing before. Because who you are is the bigger version of who you are. So what is in you is much more greater. And that, when you understand that, then you will know, you will start growing personal as a person. Now, personal growth, at times we, we, we when you speak about personal growth, you think about personal development. When we speak about personal development, it comes with a few things that I'll mention. It comes with self-awareness. That's personal development. It matters so much. Self-awareness. You know who you are as a person. Then you will know about the aspirations of the things that you want. And those are the things that are in you after understanding who you are. Because when you, when you understand who you are, it will influence your growth in the mindset, socially, physically, and how you run your life daily because it matters most of your life. Now, when you understand who you are, then it brings people or it attracts other people to contribute towards the purpose you have in life. So if you are to grow personally, you need to first understand the purpose of your life. Now realize that when it comes to personal development, you need to have different kind of knowledge. You need to know your identity as a person because identity describes who you are as a person. Then it also comes to the human capital because you have understood who you are. And if you have to develop it personally, you need to build a human capital because you cannot grow without people. And that's why they say that your network is your network. You cannot grow personally without human capital because you need human beings to grow as a person. Whereas a number of people have, have failed 
to reach or to grow more bigger because they have low human capital. So that will influence who you are, will influence the human capital you attract because you need the right human capital with the right target of who you are to achieve or to grow personally in life. So if I to grow, you need to know who is my friend. What do they do? What can they add to what I'm doing? How far can they take my dream, my vision? That matters so much, human capital. Then when you come to, when if I to grow personally, shouldn't forget what they call potential. Because at times we build the human capital, but what is their potential? I mean, what can they add to the goals of set? What value can they add to the vision you have as a person? So that matters so much when it comes to personal development. Now you realize that at some point, there, is, there, there, there are certain things you need to consider if you are to grow personally. There is what they call belief. I know a number of people you are there and you'd be like, okay, uh, maybe I cannot make it. People who have had companies that are excelling, maybe they come from rich families. Maybe they have had degrees. Maybe they have, maybe they have um, uh, higher education than who I am. Now that comes to belief. And when you go to belief, we need to understand, we need to work on our mindset. Many people have not grown simply because they have a bad mindset. You know, their mind tells them to do what you do. You need to have this kind of millions. You need to have this kind of bachelor's degree, a master's PhD. And that affects us when it comes to growth. Because if you have a bad mindset, if you have a negative mindset, it always puts your self-esteem down which is very, very much more important when it comes to personal growth. Their belief still goes beyond to identity. Their belief goes to motivation. You know, like what motivates you? Because if you're not, if, if, if you have a, a negative mindset, trust me, you won't be motivated to achieve. However, when you understand, when you go to in details of, understanding who we are. That's identifying our purpose in life. When it comes to personal growth, you need to have model number two, which is the plan. I know now today, I've understood and I've worked on my belief. I want to change the lives of people like me. Uh, for years, for years, for the years, at least I'm, 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 I'm 29 years, and I've been part of uh, life changing activities for the last nine years. I realized that I've been working with different organizations before. And I remember, I remember uh, uh, when I was sharing with, with Conrad my background, it was really overwhelming because I'd worked in different positions. What I was why I was taking my time, I planned that how can I learn more when it comes to making my dream, my vision from idea to reality. I began understanding that I need to be part of people that are doing what I love. And I spent some time volunteering different organizations. And that has helped me to see that right now we're doing 
what we're doing as the Mizuno Foundation in Uganda. It's because I spent a couple of my time, I invested my time, I planned, I set a goal. That's why when you come to plan, there is what we call goal setting. What is your goal? You know, when, when you plan and know that I want to achieve A, B, C, D, attach time frames and allow yourself to grow. Then when you when 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 you see that that what is inside you is ready to come out, then you can start to work towards your dream. And so I plan and need to plan as individuals if I to grow, plan and know how long am I in this place. And that will guide you when I'm this place, what am I achieving? Otherwise, if you don't plan, you realize that you've been in one place for a couple of years and there is nothing you're growing or you have no improvement in your life. So if I to grow personal, you need to understand that if I'm in this place, how long am I in this area? If I plan that by two years, three years, um, I have to be in this place, what do I need to do to be in this place? That matters so much in life. So you need to work, you need to, to do goal setting and plan. Then you need to work on the strategy. Which strategies do I need? Because I remember we began with the understanding who we are. When you know who you are, then you will start working on the strategy. Because you know what you want to achieve. So that matters so much. If you know what you want to achieve, then it will be guiding you. It will be motivating you to work towards achieving what you want. Then when we finish the number three, what we need is action. Because now you have set the goals, you have done the work strategy, then the action, how do you do execution of what you have set for to do? So because you have said the strategy that who do I need? What do I need to do? So when you set a plan, that will give you a how do I execute? In other words, how do I influence people to come and be a part of what I'm doing? How do they, how, how can I share to them and uh, be part of the mission or the vision of what I want to achieve as a person? So it, it's, it's not only about organizations, building companies, being maybe maybe in your profession, because you need to grow, even if you even if it's your profession, even if a teacher, how do you grow? So when 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 you come to action, then you plan how you're going to execute that program, how you're executing that project, how you're executing that movement as a person. And sometimes we set goals and realize that there is, on, when it comes to action, also it comes to habits and action. You know that at times, if, if, if I'm a lawyer, let me, let me say for example, what do lawyers do? Okay. If, 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 uh, if I want to go to advocacy in human rights, what do they do? How do they behave? That matters most. Then you will know how you can be productive towards the goals you have set in the plan above, in the work strategy you have set. Then when it comes to personal growth, still we, we come to the fourth is result. Because if you're growing, you need to see results. Any person who is doing something that is not able to see results, that, is, that he or she has set in his goals, he has to evaluate or she has to evaluate what he or she is doing. Because you need to see results of what you have set for. Any work without results, it's a dead work. It's like growing maize 
and you don't see the seeds coming out. You need to sterilize. You need to evaluate this is the outcome of what you have said. Are you growing personally? Are you growing your network? Are you growing the connections of people that into line of what you have set forth as per your goal? You know? So you need to see reward. If, 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 if you, there, there are different ways we see results. One, the outcomes. To the reward, at some point, um, I, I'll give an example. Basically, as a person, I, 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 I had to go by the purpose set forth my life. Or when I, when, when, when I realized how much I can grow personally or what is set forth in my life, and I began working towards it, I've seen rewards out of it. Have had people coming on board like, you know what, we love what you do. Are you getting the feedback from what you're doing? You have somebody who says, you know what, I love what you do. What you do keeps me moving. Your company is doing great. Your services are excellent. Because when you have set goals, how you evaluate that you're growing personally is through the outcomes, the rewards, and the feedback you get. If you began, for example, we have, we, we, I have a few people here that I've, I've, I've been reading about. We have people like, uh, if it's Paul, Paul is being charity ghost permissions. How many people have you had giving the last to Christ? You know, how many people have, uh, have come out and said, you know what, we love what we need to be part of your movement. Now, you evaluate yourself by knowing how many people this year have responded positively to my movement, to my company, to my business, to my organization. That matters most. And, last, uh, and the last thing when it comes to the personal growth model, we need to know, we need to have reviews. Review is very important. And the review, do evaluations. Evaluate. Now, if you evaluate, you know you are, you know where I've reached, the levels of which it comes to growth. You evaluate, do assessment as a person. Then when you evaluate, and you know, you know what? I think somewhere, somehow, we need to do this, A, B, C, as a person, then you redesign the strategies. At some point, a number of people have failed to grow because they fail to redesign. If you're doing A, B, C, D, and you see changes, there is space. That's why there is evaluation. There is space for evaluation and assessment. Sit personally and know if I'm doing this, how much more has it influenced other people? How much more has it added value to me personally? How much more has it added, if I work in the communities, how many people that have been, oh, how many people have benefited from the program I'm running? Then if you see no results, of what you're doing, of, of the goals I've set forth, then you, you are not growing personally. And your mission is not growing because growth has, if, the only way you can evaluate your growth is seeing growth of something you have begun. Then you know, if what I began is growing, then I'm growing personally. So if that is not happening, then you need to redesign the strategy. At some point, um, we, we, we were running projects as an organization where, where we're renovating schools in 2019, 2018. We're renovating schools in Kampala and areas and slums. And uh, when lockdown came down, when the lockdown came in, we had schools were closed. 
So there is no way you could shout to people that please be part of our projects when you're renovating schools and schools which are closed. So somebody can be part of that program because they don't see value of why the school is closed and they're not sure of when that school is open. Excuse me. So when it comes to redesigning with strategy, we sat and we're like, you know what? The schools are closed and our partners and sponsors are waiting for the updates of what we're doing as an organization. So we had to sit and realize that how much more can we impact the mothers, the guardians of the children who are benefiting from the schools renovate? Because they may find schools that support vulnerable people into their communities. And it's like, you know what? How much more can we work with the mothers in the times when schools are closed? We had to, we had to do more strategies and redesign again. And that led to the birth of the Middle School of Community. And surprisingly, when, when we were building all this model, we were like, you know what? I think it's much more better to teach the women how to fish than taking them the fish. So we're trying to design the strategy. Like, how can we make them grow much more better from coming for sponsors than them being, being their own sponsors for their own children. Now, you know what? Surprising is working out very great because that we design again. And you know, like we, 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 we are like, okay, let's have our women teaching skills. And last year we had a number of women graduating from the school community. Now they can be able to produce them products. They produce the bags, they produce uh, table mats, they can do uniforms, are doing a lot of things and their lives are improving and they're growing much more better. And now we, we empower them that they can be able to support their own children. So we had to redesign. Now, if, if, if it wasn't of COVID, we couldn't take much more of such a program. But when we evaluated and we made the assessment, we had to redesign again to the School of Community Program. So it's very much important for us if we're to grow personally, to evaluate. If we're doing, a, if we're running a ministry, if we're an organization, a company, do evaluation, the space to redesign again and make better strategies to grow. And realize that at the end of the day, we need, we, there, there is a need. At some point, uh, many people don't understand why there is a need of us growing personally. Now, personal growth, the need of personal growth is very number one and it's very key. Successful personal growth comes with a need and we have requirements. If I to grow as a person, there are requirements. It doesn't just come out of the blue. Oh, and they're like, but I'm growing and I'm succeeding and my business is working good. My company, my organization, my ministry. No, it comes with the requirement. One, motivation. You cannot grow personally if you are not motivated. Now, motivation does not only come from us as individuals. But it, it comes also copying a leaf from other people. You need to find somebody that motivates you. You know, you need somebody that motivates you. I have a, my, my life is a testimony because I have a number of people that have come out to grow their dreams, that have come up to, to come out of their fears to do mighty better things because they are motivated by me. I'm like, you know what, if you, if you can run a ministry, if you can do that organization, 29 years, at times there, there, there's a friend of ours who came to our office and was like, you know what, because we have a number of board members. And this person came into was from one of the biggest organizations in Uganda, AMREF. I believe all of us know about AMREF, the programs 
connect I came from Amref, an old guy, 40 years, 40 years plus, up to like 49, I think. We talked to him, we talked to him, and then he was like, you know what? There's a project you want to do. And when he came to the office, he was like, okay, I think um, I love what the solution is doing. Who is the founder? And he was speaking to me. I was like, I think maybe I, we have a number of board members. I think it's him. And then one of the guys who worked with was, was like, you know what? It's him who's the founder. And I was like, you know what? I thought that these things are done by people who have money. I think I thought that such organizations are run by people who are retirement. I think, you know, because they're like, it was really like, was, how can you do this? How did you begin? So you need to find a person who motivates you to do what you do. If you don't have somebody who motivates you, then you cannot grow personally. Because if you challenge other people, they will grow and they will work towards achieving and growing. Two, you cannot grow if you don't desire to improve. Because if you desire to improve, that keeps you focused. That keeps you to find the right networks. That pushes you to build a good human capital. Because you know what? You want to improve. You don't want to see that every year you are the same position. It pushes you to find the right networks. It pushes you to think more beyond because there is something you want. There is somewhere you want to reach as a person. Now, if you're that person who doesn't desire to improve, my friend, you cannot successfully grow as a person yeah. because the desire pushes you to grow, pushes you to work more harder. And that's why you realize that at the end of the day, it's because I love to use live examples. When you check into the mail website, you realize that there are a lot of people that even are older than me. Now, why are they part of what we're doing? Why, why, what pushes them? And if you ask them, how do they know about the foundation in Uganda? It's because I desire to improve, to grow as in an organization. And that's why I reach to the right networks. Can't be part of this. What do you think about, about this? And that keeps us growing every day. So if you're to grow personally, you need to have a desire to improve. Absolutely. Thank the you. Third thing, the third thing you need to grow, the third thing you need to know if you're to grow successful as a person, you have to be willingness to strive and make change. If you're not willing to strive to make change, you cannot grow personally. It's only that person that wants change in his life, in his company, in his ministry, in his family, that works towards being a successful person. If you are motivated and you are willing to strive to make changes in your life, in your communities, in your family, then 